so it is June 8th. We are meeting Chris Magro in Mooresville at Simpson World to get fitted for the driving suits and I believe shoes, um, which is going to be kind of crazy because I can't get my feet in just any kind of shoe. So um, hopefully, hopefully there's an option um, to take care of that. But uh, um, I would imagine I'll be ordering something online to take care of that situation because um, we could actually wear leather leather shoes. And there are leather boots that have a zipper on the side, um, you know, because I can't I can't move my feet. So I go to put my go put my foot into the shoe, and my foot just you know curls up, and I can't get my toes can't get my toes in there. <laughs> Common problem we all have it. But, uh, um, yeah, so I'm uh, going to fit for the driving suits. That's kind of fun. That's exciting. Um, theoretically, um, we have to leave. Um, we have thir 13, 13 days. See, the 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th. 19th, 20, 21, 22, 23, 15 days, 15 days, that, that'll be Wednesday the 23rd, and then, um, I think, Wednesday the 23rd anyways, we're, we're driving out, we're driving out to um, get to Tennessee, we got free tech, we got all that stuff, so, um, our back's against the wall, um, so this weekend is going to have to be a huge weekend, but right now we're going to Mooresville to get fitted on these suits. So we'll see how that turns out. But um, yeah, yeah, we don't have much time at all. And we have a lot of stuff that has to happen um, to get on the road to racing. So I will, um, I don't know, I'll see you when we get to the, uh, the suit place <laughs> and see what, uh, see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> we'll do it together. Oh, is it still recording? Well, oh, that's a little bonus. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was gonna happen. All right, here we are, trying on these driving suits. <laughs> Meet your co-dog of the number 4,500. What do you think, Chris? I think they're hot. You're hot. <laughs> One way of all right, here, take the phone and let's see how we, same size uniforms. Like Chris is, I don't know, kind of superhero looking, fit, thin. He can move like he's skateboarding. All right, now, now show me. Same size suit. I look fat, pregnant. I lost the beard, so I can't pull off the sand. No, seriously. Oh, God. Look can, good. We look good, Chris. Can you move like a skateboarder? No. <laughs> so here we are. We got a, these are the first ones we picked out. So maybe we're going to pick out another one. I personally like these ones, but obviously we're, uh, we're on a budget. And then next up, we go get some racing shoes. <laughs> what do you think? Is this nuts or what? It's... Have you ever been in a driving suit before? Well, I've been in a tanker suit, so it's similar. Yeah. So it's kind of, but not as heavy. It's not as hot in the yeah. suit. They are. Actually, they're starting to cool down, though. I'm cooler now than when I put it on. Oh, I'll go, let's, uh, you know that they turned up the AC. They turned up the AC. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is the, uh, the girls that are helping us, I got here before Chris, so I already wore them out. So they've had enough of diesel. <laughs> So they're trying to get us out. No, Simpson's been great so far, so let's pick out some shoes. Our experience here at Simpson World was pretty fun, pretty crazy. Those girls over there didn't know what to think at first, <laughs> but I really think they enjoyed us um, this late. I, th I think they're actually even working overtime, and they let us sign their wall, 
of fame, you can see 4,500, and, and there's my name, Diesel, and there's Kath, there's Chris. <laughs> it's not Kathy. You tell me what you think. It's Chris Magro. That's a military signature. Well, you ready? Yeah. You have a smile that won't go away. I'm going. <laughs> I'm excited. Anyways, for me, it's back to the shop, back to work, and um, he has a lot more research to do. So, uh, 15 days to go. <laughs> All right, so we got our driving suits. That was pretty exciting. But back where the meat and potato happens. Right, Matt? That's right. They all think it's a piece of cake. We'll be testing. We'll be testing in a couple days, right, guys? Uh, test this. <laughs> Anyways, check out the Jeep. We're trying to figure out the fuel system, which is um, we uh, We're back at the shop. We're busting our ass. Um, we're figuring out the uh, radiator uh, overfill because, like I said, I'm getting ready to plastic, uh, getting rid of all the plastic things. So we have this aluminum radiator overfill reserve, whatever you want to call it, um, that we're going to mount in there. Um, but uh, tonight we kind of just been, um, man, removing, cleaning, removing everything we don't need. We. Uh, the interior is completely gutted. We reduced all the wires to just that on this side, that on the other side, and everything's done. All the speakers, all the luxury is all gone. Along with the racing suits, um, we also got all the rugged radios. So uh, Chris is going to have his um, comms. We're going to have our communications, radios, GPS, the helmets, we got the harnesses, everything is coming in quick. This is the 15th day. We have 14 days left. Um, as you can see, we got the new fuel hose, um, and that's gonna mount here. That's the bracket I'm building here. Um, if I turn this around, you can kind of see what I'm thinking. I'm gonna put a hole in that, and this is actually gonna mount about right here, and we're gonna put some ribs to direct any fuel that might get spilled outside of the vehicle. We got our one inch vent tube and we took the gas tank apart. You can see all the nuts are missing and we installed a dash 12 to house our one inch hose, which we were put a check valve in in case we roll over. And then that is gonna go up the roll cage, across the top of the roll cage, down the other side of the roll cage and underneath the fuel cell. <laughs> that's what we're working on um, just fabricating and you you could see it's just uh, a little overwhelming we are like I said this 15th day um, we got window nets coming they should be here maybe Monday or Tuesday and maybe this weekend but uh, um, yeah we got um, <laughs> this is 15 tomorrow is gonna mark only, only, you know what? It's like exactly 14 days today, dude. Cause we leave Wednesday. So tomorrow is Wednesday. Yeah, and we have two trailers coming. Thanks West End Hardware and my father. Ain't that sexy? It is a sexy freaking race car though. It, it really is going to be pretty. And we got a driving suit, you guys seen those. But uh, yeah, we got two two trailers to prep. What we're going to do, because it's our first race, um, the trailer I used to go to Moab, we're going to put the race car, kind of still getting used to calling it a race car, but we're going to put the uh, race car on a trailer. And then we have my father's enclosed trailer, which we haven't even been through tech. We haven't done anything. So Matt and I are going to go. We're going to show up Wednesday and we're going to just try to get some advice and some information to anything we need to do because we don't know we we might have to add roll bars we might have to add seat mounts so we're we're taking everything and the kitchen sink we really are so this doesn't mark um this is actually the 14th day tomorrow will be we have 13 days thankful we have Four, four of those are weekend days because Matt and I both have full-time jobs. So this is crunch time, but I'm going to have a video every day, every night. And you're going to see 
right with us um, what we're going through and uh, the decisions we made because um, we're uh, we're going races we're going races um, we're going racing um, <laughs> that's the, we got 13 days left and I'm already freaking screwed up um, one thing that uh, we're really concentrating on this uh, particular build and I mentioned yesterday about the we're lacking on horsepower my father you know as I was growing up he always says, son, if you save one ounce on 16 places, that's a pound. That's a whole pound. So save away every little stinking square inch of that car because 16 ounces is a pound. So concentrate on the ounces and the pounds will take care of themselves. Well, we're doing it, Dad. So thanks a lot for adding so much more time to this adventure. But that's where we're at. And uh, um, so uh, in 13 days, it's going to be uh, to the front and to the bar. <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow if I make it.